It's a tattoo girl. My nose is starting to run. Hey superstars, it's your girl Malika, AKA Miss Magic, back with another video. So guys, I just could not resist it. I've been seeing it all on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and yes, I had to try it. The temporary tattoo edges. I could not resist it. I just gotta see what it looks like on my head, see if it looks natural on my head. You know, looking at it on camera is one thing, but actually seeing it in person is another. So, after my dog barks, finish barking, bark. If you are new here, before we get started, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, a big like, and hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted when I do post another video. All right, so the company that I purchased with my very own money, uh, the tattoos from are called, I can't pronounce that, whatever that is, Arevens. Iris Sevens, I don't know. But anyway, it's a tattoo company. They do temporary tattoos for your arm, body, or whatever. So they came out with the temporary hair tattoos. And what it did, it came with nine prepackaged stickers of tattoos. Um, eyebrows, not eyebrows, why am I saying eyebrows? Of tattoo eyelashes. And I like these because, oops, I didn't got something on the back of that. On the, the front is the actual tattoo, and on the back, it shows you the outline of the tattoo so that when you do place them, you can um, kind of see where you're going to be placing that tattoo. So, like I said, it came with nine, and I think I'm going to go with this because this looks most likely how I tattoo my hair. Why do I? This looks most like. I'm going to go with this one. Because this, I'm going to go with this one. Because this one looks more like how I do my baby hairs. Um, I'm going to show you. This is how I do my baby hairs with my real hair. So we're going to see how close we can get to that look with fake tattoo. I, I want to say eyebrows so bad. Fake tattoo baby hairs. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Because this is how it's going to look on my head like that. Can y'all see that? And we're gonna go ahead and cut the shape out. So let me do that right now. Okay guys, so what I have done is cut the tattoo out as close to the outline of the uh, tattoo as possible, the baby hair. But first we're gonna slick back my hair. I forgot my hair was a mess. So we're gonna take it down. We're gonna slick it back into a little ponytail and I'm going to brush back as much of my real edges as possible. So let's go ahead and do that with a little water and I'll take some gel and like I said I am going to brush back my sideburns everything as much as possible so that no hair will be on my hairline I do have a, a little you know right here but hopefully the baby hair won't lift up right there so, I guess I said, let's try to brush it back as much as possible. And put in a little ponytail. And we're gonna go real smooth with it. Brush all of this back. Same thing on the other side. I'm gonna leave a little part right there. God damn it. The first one broke. So natural hair struggles, right? Am I right? 
and then later I'm gonna put a little foamy ponytail on the back of that. So let's make sure we got these edges slipped back with enough gel. Get that all the way back. Cause you don't want any hair to touch the, I'm assuming you don't want any hair to touch the um, tattoo baby hair. Okay. That's what I was saying, I got a little here, but we are gonna try to work around that. All right. Once we do that, I'm going to wipe my hairline with alcohol just to make sure there's no residue or makeup on there. So let me go get the alcohol. All right, so I got my alcohol. And we just gonna wipe right around this hairline because I do have some makeup on. So I don't want the makeup or the gel in my hair to mess with it. Yeah, that's makeup, not dirt. Push that back. Push that back. And yeah, right where that little baby hair gonna be on that side. Right up in there, wipe that off. All right. Let's make it do what it do. All right, guys, so are we ready? We're gonna take our first little tattoo. Make sure we got the right one. Uh, and so that's that's the tattoo. This is the regular side, and then this is the side. My no one, my baby's head be about right there. Ooh, so here, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna take the plastic off. It's got a plastic film on it that you can take off right there. So let's take that off. Okay, I'm gonna start here because I want it to be placed right there and we're going to place it on our head like that then it says take a damp cloth and start to use the damp cloth so that the tattoo can adhere to your face I got makeup all over this damn thing. That's cool. Guess I shouldn't have put on makeup before we did this one. But what I do? Did I rip it? Mm -hmm. That might be a little wrinkle right there, babe. Cause we'll see. We shall see. I have no idea how, supposed, how long I'm supposed to leave this on my face. And the directions didn't tell. Let me go get the directions so I can see how long it say. Oh, I got the directions right here. It says, what? Cut out tattoo of your choice. Remove the transparent film. Did that. Glue the tattoo face down on clean skin. Dampen the tattoo backing paper thoroughly with damp cloths. Tap the tattoo gently for 20 seconds. Okay, let me make sure that's wet everywhere oh shit it's coming down okay it's sliding off already y'all ready here we go okay Ooh. let's tap that a little bit more huh? let's tap it a little more it's coming down it's too far down, I would say, but let's see. Let's see here. Y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. This could have been up a little bit further, but. Just dampen it down with the towel. Yeah, this definitely could have been a little higher. When I do the other side, I'll go a little higher. But okay. 
and this is definitely on my little hairline that I was talking about but I mean what you gonna do okay what you think what you think what y'all think I don't know I don't know I guess I could brush down some like little hair right here I don't know this is, might be decent for people who don't have y'all seen the little curly cute right there that's cute right ain't that cute okay let's do the other side the other side I think I'm gonna go try to be a little higher because because I got hair right there I should have shaved that maybe I'll shave it oh shit shave it I'm not shaving my damn baby hair um all right let's do the other side some shaving Talking about some shaving. I'm not gonna shave my baby hair. Well, you do. But I do think I'm gonna go a little higher. But see, if I go higher, then it's gonna be all in my hairline, which ain't gonna work. Maybe I'll go here. All right, let's take the film off and do the other side. Let's see, I gotta go to the store, y'all. And I'm gonna have these tattoos on. I can't be looking crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and stick this on on this side. Got to be careful. See, this is gonna be all in my hair. But, I mean, what I'm gonna do? I wanted that to be a little higher, which it is. I hope that works. Go ahead and take my damp claw. I used enough water. See, it's damp. Ooh. See, I like the way that one is better up there. However, it's all on my hairline. Um, shit. Let me excuse my language out. This one, I don't know. Let's put some little water on it. <laughs> This one didn't do as good as the duck one, okay. What y'all think? Up in here. Let's make it stick a little better. I got this one too close to my hairline, but see how it looks better up there? It looks more natural than that one. But then you gotta worry about your hairline. This is definitely for people who have no edges. Now, if you ain't got no edges, and you ain't got no hope of getting no edges. Here's the work. So this is the side that let me turn this water off. That I should have went higher, but then if I would have went higher, then it would have got all in my hairline. Whereas I like this side, but it got all in my hairline. And I don't know. No, I like this side. This side decent. So. Okay. I see me. I'm put my little pony pony tail on. And um, go to the store and watch people stare at me, I guess. Because they come stare. I don't know if I can make it look a little bit more natural. And I wouldn't have a problem with it. And if this one was a little bit further up, up here. But maybe I'll just blend that in with some. Uh -oh. We'll see. What y'all think? This side, and then this side, which could use a little more sticky down. I'm gonna let them dry for like five minutes, then I'm gonna come back, and then we'll do we'll deduce what's going on with this. All right, guys. So I'm back, and I figured out a little hack. So they've dried. And the part where um, it was on my hairline that kind of sticking up, I just took it and pulled it right there. I pulled it off. And then what I did was just use a little 
um, eyebrow pencil in brown, dark brown, and just kind of like filled in the little spaces. See, like right up in there. Fill that in a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural. And I'm kind of digging this. I'm kind of like really digging this. Other side, since I came down too far, same thing. Just take the eyebrow pencil and kind of just fill it in a little bit up in there. Where so it won't look so blank. And then I did pull where I got, I have hair that grows down a little bit. So I pulled a little bit of that off. And then maybe kind of just like fill it in a little bit right there. And it's a little piece right here that I'm going to pull it to. So you just pull it to the back. And let get it off. Pull a little bit off of off. Just a tad. Where your hairline is. And then it kind of like blends into it as you see. So as it dries, I'm kind of digging this. Easy. If you don't have edges or if you don't feel like drawing edges or you haven't perfected how to draw the edges, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of simple. So, um, I, like I said, I'm going to go to the store with this on, so we're going to see how this go. But if you like this video, go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment, hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted when I do post another video. And thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys in future videos, past videos, all my videos. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. Bye.